Welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial. In this video, we're going to be taking a break from the uh, normal prefix commands that we have been doing, and we're going to go over uh, a basic introduction to slash commands, a slash command handler, and building a new bot with slash commands. So if this is something you're interested in, then stick around. If not, I would strongly recommend it because slash commands make everything easier um you don't have to worry about per server prefixes and it's easier to make commands as slash commands um so with that let's go ahead and get started before we start with the actual coding i would like to say that i did make a discord bot um you can read about it on the discord listing sites in the description below um, but i would really appreciate it if you could add it to your servers we're trying to get it into 75 servers um, we're pretty close, so if you could add it to your servers, that would be great. Um, with that, let's go ahead and actually start. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the Discord developer portal. So we're going to go ahead and create a new application. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click new application. We're going to call this slash command tutorial. We'll make that. Uh, so in here, we do have to do a few things. So we're going to go ahead and start off by um, actually creating a bot. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna click add bot. Uh, click yes, do it. And now we have our bot. So there are a few um, permissions that we have to select on. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so the only two uh, permissions that we're gonna need to select are these two, uh, the presence intent and the server members intent. So go ahead and turn those on um, and then hit save changes. And once you've done that, uh, you should be good to go. Um, it's essential that you use these. Um, because what I have um, for my code and the code you'll be using will not turn the bot on if these aren't online or if these aren't checked on. Uh, so with that, we can go ahead and head into the URL generator right here. Um, and what we can do is we can click bot and application commands. And then just like that, um, you, you must click application commands. You can just click bot and you'll still be able to add it to the server. But if you don't click application commands, then the slash commands will not work. So just bot and application commands, then go ahead and click administrator and then copy this link. Once you've opened the uh, link, you can go ahead and add it to your server. Um, and then you can click continue, go ahead and, uh, go through this process and then you will have added it to your server. All right, so as you can see here, we have our slash command tutorial bot added to our Discord server with its own role and all that stuff. Um, so now what we can go ahead and do is we can actually download the package needed uh, to run the code. So let's go ahead and do that now. In the description below, there is going to be a help server link. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and click that um, and then find the slash command package channel. The channel will go public as soon as I post this video. It will have some more content in it, um, but as of now, we only have the package. Um, so go ahead and download it. It only has the code in it, nothing uh, dangerous. All right, once you've downloaded it, we can do a few things. Um, but first, we're going to go ahead and create a new folder. I'm going to call it sc slash command tutorial. Um, just like that. So then we can go into our files like this and we can go ahead and find our downloads. We can drag the package onto our uh, desktop just like that and go ahead and open it up. So in here, we're going to open up both uh, folders just like that. So now we're going to highlight um, all of these files in here and simply drag them into the folder we just made. After you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of the package file and delete the zip file. And we have everything we need in the folder we just created. Before we go ahead and actually get all the uh, downloaded stuff we need for this, I would like to mention that for this tutorial and for all Discord bot tutorials pretty much, you're going to need Node.js and Visual Studio Code downloaded on your computer. Um, so the links for that will be in the description below. Make sure you download that uh, so that you will have all the necessary software to uh, code. So now we're in our file, we can go ahead and open up the command prompt by clicking in this window right here. Delete all the contents of that and type CMD. So once you're in the uh, command prompt right here, uh, we're going to go ahead and run a few commands. The first command we're going to go ahead and run is uh, npmi discord.js. So we can install discord.js on uh, this file. Otherwise, we won't be able to run any of the commands we're going to do. So now that we have that installed, we can reload our folder and notice that we have a lot of other uh, files in here. After discord.js installs, we can do npmi.env just like that, um, and then that will install pretty quickly. Uh, then we can do um, npm init. So the first thing that we're going to run through is our package name. We can just go through that. Um, and then version, we can skip through that. We don't need a description and entry points. So for our entry points, um, we're going to do src 
slash index.js. Um, and then our test command, we can do node src slash index.js. And then we can skip through all of this stuff. You can uh, add an author if you want, um, just like that. And then we can do yes. Um, and then with that, we can open up our code. So you can do code space dots um, in the terminal and it will open up. So um, you might need to trust the author. It doesn't appear for me. So uh, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, but once you're in here, um, what we're going to need to do is we're going to edit a few things. The first thing that we're going to edit is our token. So you're going to go into your .env file and you're going to have to paste your token in here. Your token comes from your Discord developer portal. So just uh, go into your bot settings, reset your token. Um, and then if you have 2FA, put that in there. All right. So once you get your token, just click copy. Don't share this token with anybody because that means they can access your bot. I'm going to be resetting mine after the video, um, but go ahead and paste your token in here. And then you're going to close out of the .env file. So now open up the SRC and then go into your functions and click on your handle commands.js. So um, I'm going to explain guild and application commands real quick, just so you understand this. Um, but guild commands basically mean that uh, the slash commands are only going to work in the guild that you provide. And global commands mean that uh, the slash commands will work in any server your bot is in. So basically, if your bot is going to be a public bot, you're going to use global commands. And if your bot is going to be for one server or, you know, private bot, whatever, you're going to use application guild commands. Most people use guild commands for coding because they update instantly, um, whereas global commands maybe take a little bit longer to actually um, update. Uh, so what I would recommend doing is if you're making a public bot, set up guild commands um, so that you can have a test server where you run your code to test it. Um, and then when you're actually updating your bot to a hosting service, uh, change this to global commands. This is what global commands look like right here. Um, I'll show you what guild commands look like in a second, um, but we're going to go ahead and fill out all the information for guild commands. Make sure you turn developer mode on so you can copy the ID of your uh, application. So just copy your application ID um, and then paste it right here, your client ID, paste it right there. And then go back into the server and you're going to go ahead and copy your guild ID. So if again, if it's a public bot, go ahead and copy your test server ID. If it's a um, private bot, go ahead and copy your main server ID um, and then go back in here and paste it right here. Um, so now what we can go ahead and do is we can set this up to be an application guild command because this is a private bot. So um, for a guild command, you're going to remove uh, right next to dot roots. You're going to remove all of this and you're going to type application guild commands. And then we're going to go ahead right here, comma, and then pass in our guild ID just like that. Uh, that's it, it's that simple. Um, if you're going to turn it into a, a global command after you're done um, testing, just uh, remove guild and remove your guild ID. It's it's really that simple. Um, so now I believe we are actually good to run our bot. It should turn on now. That being said, I didn't actually include any uh, commands in the package so that you guys are going to have to actually code that on your own. All right, before we actually turn our bot online, um, we are going to need to install one more package so we can uh, enter into the terminal and we can do npm i at discord js slash rest and then hit enter and it will install. Um, and then once that's installed, we are good to go. So now we can do a node space dots in the terminal. And as you can see, it will uh, send the starting messages and it will say ready when it is online. If we go in here, the bot is online, as you can see here, uh, which is good. It does not have any commands. If we do slash, there are no commands in here, which is what we're going to do in a second. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start um, in our commands folder. So go into the commands folder, go into community. Um, you can create more of these uh, subfolders if you'd like. I'm just going to go with community. I'm going to make a new file and it's going to be called tests.js. All right, so what we're going to do in our test.js file is we're going to go ahead and uh, require our slash command builder. So in the start of every file, uh, this is basically what it's going to look like. I would recommend just uh, copying and pasting your test command and then editing it when you make new commands. It's just the easiest way. So you can do const slash command builder. Um, and then outside of that, we can do equals require at discord js builders. And then we can go down here and we can do module.exports equals data 
new slash command builder and then we can do dot set name and then this is the uh, command name so we're gonna call this test and then we're gonna do set description um, set description and then in here uh, this is gonna be the description that we see in the slash commands so we can do slash command description um, so you guys can see what I'm talking about okay so now we're gonna hit comma and then we're gonna do async executes interaction and then comma clients uh, you can add more in here like args but I'm just gonna do interaction and client we're gonna open that up and then we're gonna simply do await interaction dot reply and then we can do content and then inside of here we can do the bot is working uh, we can play around with some more stuff um, but Right now, we're just going to add a comma there, and we're going to go ahead and restart our bot, and then test the command, and then we can add some more stuff in here as well. Alright, so now that the bot is online, you may have to reload Discord um, for the command to show up, but once you've done that, um, you can do slash, and then as you can see, the test command uh, shows up, and it says slash command description, just like showed in the code, and test. So if we run test, it says the bot is currently working, and as you can see, that is exactly what we did in here. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and make a private reply. So we're going to do comma and then E-P-H-E-M-E-R-A-L. Uh, true. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but after you're done with that, you can go ahead and restart the bot. And once your bot is online, we can do test. And as you can see, it makes a private reply. So that's how you do a simple test command. Um, there's way more things that we can get into. Um, for example, I'll show you um this is my code for my uh bot that i coded um my my public bot uh this is the code as you can see this is a simple band command um and you can set a description user string pretty much anything a good example of this is the eight ball command you can add a string and then you can pass in question and then um they will have the option to add in a question and then you can make it required and all that stuff we'll get into more in-depth commands in a future video um but for now that's how you code a slash command bot with discord.js if this worked for you make sure you drop a like and subscribe if it didn't leave a comment or um uh talk in the uh, help channel in my uh, help server um and i will certainly try to help you um with whatever i can um, and yeah, make sure you add my Discord bot to your servers, and I'll see you guys in the next video.